This is a discussion of bandsaw blade tension and tension gauges. Uh, today we're working with a Forest Model 204 vertical blade bandsaw. Um, this is a high speed machine. It runs a blade speed of around 3,000 feet per minute. Good for cutting wood, plastic, foam, insulation. Basically anything other than metal. Uh, cutting metal with a bandsaw is a bit of a different game. We're not addressing that today. We're just talking about high speed machines and the uh, appropriate blade tensions for that. So if you're watching this video at all, you probably already know that a bandsaw blade has to be properly tensioned to work correctly and that it's kind of important. Either too little blade tension or too much blade tension will hurt you um, almost as bad. So there's some happy ground in the middle. Bandsaw blades are tensioned in terms of pounds per square inch or force per area. In the US we usually say pounds per square inch. Over in the, in the whole rest of the world they talk in metric units. What that means is this machine has a tensioning mechanism that creates a force on the blade. The blade has a cross-sectional area. So that force is spread out over an area. Force per area, pounds per square inch. So bandsaw blades come in lots of sizes. This particular machine can carry anything from a quarter inch blade up to a one and one quarter inch blade machine. Um, pretty good range. Right now I have on here a half inch wide by 025 inch thick blade. So where this all gets tricky is the target blade tension for a bandsaw blade cutting wood typically is in the range of 15 to 22,000 PSI. Maybe as wide a range as 12,000 up to 25,000 pounds per square inch. How do you measure that? You don't, not directly. What you actually can measure though is the elongation of the blade. Because of the way the math works out, um, you, the elongation of the blade will always be the same for a given tension, PSI, for any blade. Um, back up a step here. So this blade is a half inch by 025. And I'm going to make up a number here. Let's say it takes 200 pounds of tension to get this thing up to 15,000 PSI. If I put a bigger blade on here, let's say I go with a blade that's twice as big width and thickness. So instead of a half inch, it's one inch. Instead of 025, it's 050. That blade will have four times the cross-sectional area. Twice as big this way, twice as big this way, four times the cross-sectional area. If it took 200 pounds of tensioning force to get that 15,000 pounds per square inch, and again, I'm making up numbers, I should have done the math beforehand, it'll take four times as, for, as much force, and 800 pounds to achieve the same tension on this blade. So you have a tensioning mechanism that's that on this machine is capable of generating a wide range of tensioning forces to tension a blade and get the same tension pounds per square inch. So how do we measure this? We measure this with elongation. And you measure that with a blade tension gauge. Here is a typical example. Actually, this isn't a typical example. This is the best you can get. This is a Sterrett blade tension gauge. These clamp onto the blade and actually measure how much the blade stretches. And then the, the way the math works out, how much it stretches always translates directly into a blade tension in terms of pounds per square inch. So a quarter inch blade or one and a quarter inch blade. If it's elongates by four thousandths of an inch to make up a number, it will have the same pounds per square inch tension on it, regardless of how big the blade is. It's a, nice, it's a nice way the math works out in your favor. Usually math doesn't work out in your favor, this time it does. So I'll zoom in and illustrate the process here. Come on, zoom, 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 zoom. Is that all you got? Let's see if that does us. There we go. So the blade tension gauge has a fixed side and a pivoting side. I always like to, by the way I should note here, 
lock out, unplug or lock out Tiger your machine before touching the blade. This machine is in a safe condition. It is not plugged in. Honestly, we haven't even installed the motor on it yet. So make sure your machine is safe before touching anything. I like to always clamp the fixed side of the gauge before clamping. Bottom side of the gauge. So we're locked on. Go ahead and give those a good twist, make sure they're not gonna slip. And the blade is completely slack right now, you can see. So we now zero the indicator. This outer dial pivots, set it to zero. Blades at zero tension. And then use the tension mechanism. This machine has a screw over spring tension mechanism. And add force to the blade. So this one has two gauges. The outer gauge in black numbers is pounds per square inch. The inner gauge in red numbers is kilograms per centimeter squared. I mentioned the whole rest of the world. So we're looking at the black numbers. So as I add force to the blade, the blade stretches until I read 15,000 PSI. The blade's now nicely tensioned. Let me back this off a bit for you. And now remove the blade tension gauge. And that's 15,000 PSI on about five foot of exposed blade. That's the basic way these things work. So as I said before, this is the good stuff. This is Sterrett. If you're a machinist or know anyone, this is the good stuff. Expensive. Blade manufacturer Linux makes this, works on exactly the same principle, as a fixed side, as a pivoting side, has a little gauge in the middle. It's worth noting though, Linux mostly makes blades for cutting metal. This gauge has yellow, green, and red zones indicating preferred or not preferred blade tension ranges, but this is calibrated for metal. So it's set a little higher than is typical. My autofocus is having a hard time with this. So the range is a little high for wood cutting. Numbers are more important than the colors. I also have this blade tension gauge from Itura Design. This is a uh, little outfit that specializes in products for band saws for consumers and hobbyists and such. That's Itura, I-T-U-R-R-A. It's a nice little unit. I like how it's made. I got a little frozen up on me there though. This one is the uh, gauge got a little stuck on me there. But they all work pretty much the same. So that is your blade tension, blade tensioning gauge. Use these to set your blade tension on a machine if you're new to the machine or need to learn how to set the proper tension. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us here at Forest Manufacturing. Uh, we are happy to talk bandsaws all day long.